All right, we're in the dressing room of Layla Ali. Don't forget, coming up, we'll see her in action. Layla Ali against Christina King. She turned Ali. How good is she? To put Miss Ali in jail tonight. Here she is. Strong, stocky sort of fighter. What the Ali people don't know is that this girl was a tough woman contestant. She has 20... How long did it take you to lose that weight, Bobby? You had the opportunity. I flew over here late because of the death of uh, Steve Albert's dad. I didn't get called on until it was too late, so I came late. What did she say yesterday when you talked to her? Here comes Layla, by the way. Well, she was, Christina King was talking about the fact that she works with men, okay? And they've knocked her out of the ring. She's gotten back in. Ali doesn't bring anything like that to the table. Well, here comes Ali. in association with Pabst Blue Ribbon and uh, Caesars Palace. Our judges scoring this bout from ringside, we have Ronald Greenlee, Joe O'Neill, and Paul Silverman, and our referee in charge of this bout is Bernie Profato. Now,四个回合的女子挑战赛,我们看到蓝角的选手是来自美国密制安州的克里斯蒂娜金卓浩,全台女皇。I expect you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Let's do it. She's been in 25 tough women contests, and she thinks she can handle our league. She's lost a lot of weight to prove it, and she has been insulted in the process. Ali up on her toes, going with that jab, looks pretty good with the jab. You can see that she has more natural ability than the tougher, apparently, Christina King. Well, right now you can see that there's an experience factor and a style factor and, and also a skill factor difference, but the toughness factor we have to find out. Well, these two minute rounds as she went back on the heels, a pretty good right hand by Ali. She digs to the body. Boy, does it sound funny to me. I call most of Muhammad Ali's fights and he's saying Ali again in a prize fight. Right hand gets through, spins ahead of King. Ali's using that jab so well. Look how she's stuffing it in there. She's stepping in there and the right hand right behind her. You have to remember that uh, these are women fighters, and I'll tell you one thing, it's exciting to watch with Layla Ali in there. Look at the shots that she's landed, Bobby. This well, is only round number one. <laughs> King is showing a pretty fair chin herself. Ali has that jab going, throws the right hand, upper to toes, why with the right hand this time? You notice that uh, Christina King puts her head down when she throws. Everything she does is very awkward, very tough, but not a schooled fighter at all. No, you know, she's out, of, she's out of the world of the tough woman contest, almost a female Butterbean, although Butterbean kept the weight on, she did not. Well, she's still a little heavy around the middle, but she's trained down so much, she's in magnificent shape for her. Ali, very trim, very attractive-looking young lady, uses her reach and advantage of height. She's up on her toes, bounces back. King plods in and gets paid for it with a stiff left jab, a right hand by Ali. Ali pours the pressure on now. There's, a certain, there's certainly a skill difference here. You can just see Ali has the combinations, has the moves, knows how to move laterally with her feet, uses a jab. And the bell ends round number one. And King's strictly a tough woman type fighter. Take it down, take it down. Just move around the box. Most fighters don't have the power to get it done with one at a time. Here's Layla Ali throwing punches in bunches, combinations, jabs, right hands, following with some hooks and following up with more jabs, right hands, going to the body a little bit, mixing it up rather well. Later, she continues to do a little bit of the same, working in behind the jab in the right hand. The right hand is her signature punch. That's her bread and butter. Corners out, let's go. 
Here we go with round number two. Layla Ali in black, and in the red top there, Christina King. This is a two-minute round, as are all the rounds here in women's professional boxing. This is scheduled for four rounds. Layla Ali, needless to say, won the first round. Jab in the face of King. King wants to roughhouse it. Wide with the right hand, wide with the left hook. Missing. Nice straight left jab by Ali. The right hand gets through. Bangs the forehead again. Has her up against the ropes. Grabs the head. Ties her up inside, and now the referee, Profano, has to come in. You can see that King's really trying. She just doesn't have the skills. She has not been trained or worked at boxing and doesn't have the tools, as does Ali. She's trying, but she just doesn't have the skills to get it done. Well, I'll tell you this, people told me, Bobby, that Leila Ali can't fight even a little bit. I think she can fight a little bit. Well, I've she... seen the tapes, but part of the problem with the tapes is the opponents she's had. There are very few women that box at her size. She has some talent. You can see it. Well, she's loading up right now and taking advantage of the talent that she has. One thing is her punch is a pinpoint here, Bobby. They're all landing to the head. Look at that shot. Nice right hand cracker. Spun the chin. You know, that was a terrific right hand. Maybe the best punch she's thrown so far. And Christina King, to her credit, swelling up, will not go down. She won't go down, but she, her eye is going up. It's really bulging. Left hook, right hand right on top of that bad eye. Now the jaw comes down of Layla Ali. She's worked out to this point. Cracking right hand again gets through. Now she tries to get some air. Nice stiff jab. Right hand throw again. Now the blood trickles from the left nostril of Christina King. Ali long looping right hand, taking on the gloves. That right hand gets through. See, unfortunately, King is only blocking all the punches, and even the ones she's blocking, she's blocking them put back right in her face. She's blocking them in front of her face, not really slipping, not really moving side to side with her head or her body, slipping, going to the body. Nothing that she wants to do, I don't think she's able to do. Ali has a tendency to throw her punches while she's really landing them now, cracking this girl left and right upstairs. And if the other girl doesn't answer back, well, the bell ends round number two, so what I was going to say is that Another good round for Layla Ali. Just get a little scratch. Just a little scratch. Don't worry about it. You're all right. You're all right. Just a little scratch. You're all, right. You're all right. It's all right. Train jabs with her. Why don't you lead with a good all right. I got it. Lead with a good straight right hand, Chris. And then a left hook. Lead with a straight Give hand. Give her some water. She went right to work, did Layla Ali. Got her in trouble real early. Using the jab, working behind that jab, there's a little hook, and then she hits her with the right hand. That signature punch has been so accurate, almost every right hand has landed either flush on her face or pushed her gloves into her face. This was the best shot of the night. Leia Ali throws a beautiful right hand right there, and that was right on the button. Followed by two or three more. She threw a really solid right hand, and you could see the legs start to shake and start to give out for Christina King. Thank you. Hey, you know, I'll tell you this. If Layla Ali could learn to drive off the back foot when she throws that jab instead of leaning out, she doesn't have the quickness her dad had. She has a lot of the skills, but nowhere near like the great Muhammad. But right now, she's using the skills she has to beat up on Christina King. Christina really huffing and puffing, blood from the nose, cracked with the left hook that time. Ali bangs her with the right hand to the head. Some of the scouting reports about Layla Ali was that she was not that good a fighter, but unfortunately, they had nothing to judge her against. She has not fought anyone who's had real credentials, real abilities. Although she's demonstrating that she can fight, she, we can't gauge how well she can fight if someone's fighting her back with similar styles and skills. Well, you know, Bobby, the best women athletes are really good fighters like Christy Martin and Lucia Riker. Then you get the, you know, the pretty girls like Mia St. John and Hannah Fox are retired. But this fight is really going strong now. Go back there. Hey, hey, stop. Go back there. Okay. These girls are much bigger than what we're used to seeing. Remember, Leila Ali came in at 165 and King upon heavy 166. Blood all over the face of Christina King. She Ali continues to work. The mouthpiece is out. Yeah, she lost her mouthpiece and told the referee she lost her mouthpiece. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. Neutral corner. Now the referee can't. Let's go. Just the mouthpiece. Both of them go to the neutral yes. corner. Mouthpiece. Christina King showing a bit of an inexperience here in professional boxing. She has to go to her corner and get the mouthpiece back in. Blood all over that face. And that gives a little breather to Leila Ali, who would like to pick up the pace now. Nice stick jab that time. Another one. Look at that mouth hanging down. That's why she's losing the mouthpiece, because her jaw is hanging. Leila realizes she's got her in a bit of trouble. Nails with the right hand. Right hand again upstairs. Go for the nice left jab, Bobby. Colonel, I'll tell you.
you what, this fight might be on the verge of being stopped. If it weren't just five or six seconds left in the round, this fight might be stopped. All right, the bell ends round number three, and it's been all Ali. We're going to see where that mouthpiece gets dislodged. Now, what else? A right hand. <laughs> that right hand has really been finding a home on the side of the face of Christina King. And there it costed a mouthpiece. she fair against the good pros like Deirdre Gogarty or Daniela Summers? You know what? She's much bigger, Colonel, so it's hard to gauge how she would fare against somebody like uh, Christy Martin or even the Belinda Lara Clinton we saw, who I thought B. Martin. There are so many fighters out there, uh, excuse me, so few fighters out there that the universe of fighters at this weight, I don't know how small or how large it's going to be over the next couple of years. Action, hot and furious here in the fourth round. Christina King tries to make a fight of a run. Again, the universe of, of women at this weight, even in, even in all of professional boxing for women, is so limited. This girl did not belong in the ring with Layla Ali. She did not have the skills. A tough man competition is basically picking people up off the street, out of the crowd, out of a bar, putting them in the ring so who's a tough guy. Just swinging, and that's not what professional boxing is at a man's level or a woman's level. Well, that type question was certainly answered tonight because this girl, Christina King, was 25-0 and 0 in the Tough Women contest. Although Christy Martin started her career as a tough woman, but she's a skilled athlete, different for Christina King. Layla Ali does have some skills. She can be trained to be a pretty good fighter, I think. Well, she has some skills. She clearly demonstrated she's also pretty well conditioned. She threw a lot of punches, took a lot of energy. Problem is, Bobby, you're going to find some opponents that are as big as she is to fight. I mean, this is a girl that walks around the streets at 175 pounds. She's five foot ten. She's a very, very uh, interesting fighter. Well, she's a big girl, and she didn't get a full fight out of it. Here, she's just having her way. The right hand just landing and landing there again. The one that staggered King and. King basically, they could have stopped the fight after the last round, not let her come out for the fourth round. It would have been fair. I, I knew it was coming. I saw it coming. The right hand landing time and time again. That right hand really staggered her, wobbled her feet. And basically, she's just in a passive position, holding on to either Layla Ali or holding her own hands to her face and just cowering. So this wasn't a real test for Layla Ali. And even by Layla's own admission, she said, you know what? I have to perf perfect my game over the next couple of years. Then I'll take on the best that there are in the world. But I don't know that there are any at that weight. I don't know either, but I do know one thing. From being in China with Layla Ali, she is an attraction. People are curious for whatever reason. Will this deal with Jackie Frazier and Ron Lyle's daughter and George Foreman's daughter happen? I don't know if there's any interest in it, but we'll find out as this whole thing around Layla Ali because there is interest in her just because of the name. The fact that she's beautiful and can fight a little bit makes it all the more exciting. Well, you've seen it first, her professional debut across... U.S. television for her big sixth victory. We'll make it official now by going to our ring announcers, Kevin Kong and Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 37 seconds in round number four. A referee in charge, Bernie Profano, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Layla GBC.